so you are not reacting to a video. What the? No! Instead, it's time to react. I'm scared. To this. Oh. oh. <laughs> I thought it was gonna like zap me. Ooh, wait, and then, oh, this is like a really old Nintendo. It's like a video game or something. I see Mario on the Nintendo here. Wait, I see this case before. It's an iPhone case. Oh, Game Boy. Oh, Game Boy. Oh, it's a Game Boy. The Game Boy, wow. I've heard of them, but I've never actually had one. Yes! I have I have this. I wanted to buy this for Pokemon Red and Blue. My dad had one. We tried putting banners in it and it didn't work. Girls can play this. Why can't it be called Game Boy Girl? Question time! So, what is it? Is this an MP3? It's a Nintendo Game Boy. I think this was like the first Nintendo ever. The old DS or something. Oh, it's a Game Boy. It says right there. It says Game Boy. So what that is, is something called a Game Boy. It was right here. What is a Game Boy? It's like a gaming <laughs> device. Portable game player. It's like playing the Wii. A Wii. Smaller. A really old handheld game. It's not like there's gonna be any amazing games on it. A product released by Nintendo. Game from Mario to Pokemon to Zelda. Well, it came out 25 years ago. The Game Boy you're holding in your hand right now is actually the Game Boy we had when we were kids. We kept it all this time. Oh, you guys took pretty good care of it. So you kept it, but why? Oh, so much memories, I bet. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> ours. <laughs> we're gonna give you a game. Does it work? Wait a minute. You don't just turn it on and get the apps. Tetris? Oh, I, I know. This game is so fun. So go ahead, put it in. See if it still works. Do this. I feel like it goes in there. Do I put it in like this? In this Which way do you put this in? How do you start it? <laughs> start? Start. I press start. I did it! Nintendo. Anything different about how you put it in and how this works compared to things of today? It's a lot bigger than what you would put in a DS. Today, um, it's like a little chip. Can you talk about like the size of the screen, what the graphics look like? I think the graphics is fine. Like, what's the graphic? It has no color. Just like this weird green thing. And then it's also really heavy. Looks like I'm holding an enormous phone. Hello? All right, go ahead and play the game. Can I hit start? Yeah, keep hitting start until it starts. So you need to try to make lines with all those I shapes. I know. Oh, okay. What does A do? No, no, B. No, no, okay. It's just, oh boy. Wait, what? Oh, yay, I got rid of the layer. It's kind of boring. I actually like it, but also hate it. I bet my mom would be better at this. The whole thing is sort of big and clunky. It's really Pixely, but it's still kind of cool. This game is addictive, and I lost. What the? I made it. It says game over. You gotta stay in the bottom. Try to stay in the bottom. You guys never told me that. Can I play again? Did you really enjoy playing this? Kind of feel sad for the people in the past. So some of the problems the Game Boy had, unlike things you had today, is that it was difficult to play in certain types of light and also when it was dark. So they made accessories that had things like flashlights and magnifying glasses to help you play. <laughs> that's, that's funny. How do you put it on? It looks like a TV. Look it, I'm on TV. <laughs> oh, so you have to do this? Or put it on top like that. Walking around with this? Like, how do you put this in your pocket? Why can't you just, like, get a regular magnifying glass and just tape a flashlight to it? The Game Boy didn't come with a wall adapter. You had to buy that separately. And there also weren't really rechargeable batteries back then, so you'd have to change the batteries regularly to play. That's a struggle. Whoa, my God! You have to buy so many things. You probably yeah. had to be rich. I think that they did that on purpose because they want you to spend all your money. Now you can just charge your... Thing never, you don't even see the battery. It's better if you have a free DS, you only have to use a plug on. You can even charge it while you're playing. Like if you're going somewhere for like a month, you have to bring like five bags of batteries. So there were over 64 million Game Boys sold. Whoa. Putting it in perspective, it's only a few million less than PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360. It was that popular. Seriously? It's surprising because this is like kind of plastic. I think it's kind of a piece of junk. That would never happen in this generation. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. Like, it's a new era. It's a new era of gaming. New technology. It's like 
Back then it was the top of the line. It was like amazing. It was revolutionary. So everyone would want it. So if your parents went ahead and presented you with an old working Game Boy with a bunch of games, would you want it and play with it? No! Well, I lost my DS. I'll be happy with this. It wouldn't be my favorite thing. I'd probably play it, still play on my iPad more. I would play with it, but I would still just be so disappointed. I would play for it probably for two days and then get bored of it and got my iTouch. In a split second, I'd throw this in the trash and get back the iPad. It's fun and you can use it, but now there's just better technology that's more portable than this, so there's really no use for it. So after hearing more about this, what do you think of the Game Boy? The gaming device is stupid. They can't sense, um, people's skin. You have to like actually press buttons to do everything. I mean, it was amazing uh, back then, but now it's, I don't know, it, it can't compete with like the PSP or the DS. It's actually better than I thought, a little bit less as good as a, as a DS, but it's actually pretty good of what it has. Without the Game Boy, I don't think there would be a DS or a Wii because it's by the same company. The Game Boy started it all. Without this, you wouldn't have the gaming apps that you have now on your iPhone or on your Samsung. <laughs> so you gotta thank this, this is, this is the grandfather of everything. <laughs>